tell me about this block, man, 115th Street. We're on 115th of Manhattan. Back in the day, a lot of guys got a lot of money out of here. There was a lot of, what my, my, my um, cousin used to say, street entrepreneurs out here that was getting a lot of money. And like right in this area, there's a lot of dope things and stuff out here. Because when we actually shot the video, you know, we had some dope things out here nodding out. And guys was really getting money, man. I remember, like my man said, you know, we, we had to pay to shoot the video out here. You know, we had it was a tax we had to pay when we shot that day, man. And uh, that's just how it was, man. But to see it now, and you look around at all the beautiful apartments and the beautiful buildings and how well lit it is now, it's a whole different day. You know, Harlem has changed in a way that I don't think people would believe. You know, you some of the old people that come around and see it, man. It almost went back to the time of the Harlem Renaissance. When, you know, the only thing missing now is those clubs, those black owned clubs and, and stuff like that, because Perks was right up the street. And um, like I said, in the 70s, Charles Gallery on 125th, Smalls Paradise. Uh, it was a red rooster back then. And um, so it, it's, it's a different dichotomy of this whole what's going on, man. It's very interesting now. So going back to what you just said about Harlem changing. Tell me about them. I used to hear this was the epicenter of the heroin epidemic back in the day. Would you agree with that? I would definitely agree because I remember the day when we shot Show You, it was dope fiends nodding out over there and guys in the block getting money. So it was it was a it was a it was a different time back then, man. Like I said, man, uh, drugs had infiltrated the community. Now all of a sudden it's an opioid epidemic because now it's going into the other communities. When it was in our communities, it was okay, you know, but now it's a big epidemic. So um, you see, like, once again, the change has happened, man. And, you know, they're moving a lot of us out. Back in them days, you couldn't see a, a white person walking through through these streets. It was a, they couldn't walk through these streets. You know, it was it was different then, man. But now it's, um, it's different. Do you think gentrification in Harlem, and especially in this area where they were trying to legally change the name to Soha, like, yeah. like Soho, you know, South Harlem, has it has it been to the benefit of black folks who's always been here, or to or the opposite, you know? It was the opposite, man. I mean, to change something, you know, it's an old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So they wanted to change it to make it their own. You know, it's, it's funny, whatever something, happens with us they always try to rewrite history mm -hmm. and I mean Harlem's gonna always be Harlem and um, I don't know Soho is downtown it ain't uptown